Hey guys, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com back again for another session of High Power University. And we're actually going to pull some excerpts out of some uh, recent testing that we did with the Gersan MCP35. And this is actually a scenario that we've now seen play out uh, over a couple dozen times, I know. Um, in this you know, particular model, but not only in this model, also especially God with the Argentine uh, FM high powers, lots of times, even in uh, some older FN Browning high powers and ones that have the two-piece barrel design in them, um, we've seen this same sort of thing. And what I'm going to be showing you right here, it doesn't. This is not an accuracy test that that you're seeing, but it kind of became a confirmation about something that we've seen over and over and over again. Um, this particular excerpts are coming from a test that we did with a new out-of-the-box Gersan MCP35. It's a white Cerakoted model uh, that I was shooting there in my hand, and <clears throat> this is completely stock, completely out-of-the-box. And the objective was to see, number one, could we cycle 200 rounds consecutively through the handgun? And yes, we did. Um, that gives us all kinds of information uh, about the pistol. However, the first couple magazines, I was, I was um, wanting to get to know this handgun and understand, you know, where is the point of aim or where's the bullet landing in relation to my point of aim. And we're at 16 yards, actually, with the target that you see there. And I'm going to continue. This is, again, this is completely stock. And... We'll get a look at the bear, at the uh, target here. Okay, um, and let me explain this. When I when I am am <clears throat> taking a pistol like this for the first time, and what I was specifically doing here, and I love these splatter targets because they that that instant feedback is wonderful. And um, I started out my point of aim being. Uh, center of the red bullseye, and what I was getting for feedback from the. Um, from the splatter target was I was landing in this area right here and um, and it continued and so <clears throat> I decided you know what I want to put point of aim right here I shot that line right there I got I then moved point of aim to here and I shot this line right here and then I moved my point of aim <laughs> kind of belligerently out here and it shot to the point of aim there so now after I've done that with two magazines um, the accuracy of this barrel and I have met and at this point yes I can say affirmatively that those three shots there that all touch each other those were no, probably no accident um, that was from point of aim being at uh, center of bullseye so anyway we completed that 200 rounds um, test consecutively and I am delighted to say that the the MCP 35 ran um, all 200 rounds, 160 rounds of, um, of a Remington 115 grain ball ammunition and 40 rounds of a complete mishmash of all kinds of um, hollow point carry ammunition um, that I had, you know, just lingering extras of. And, um, and it cycled everything. And <clears throat> it got extremely hot, of course. Uh, the, it, it became uncomfortable, frankly, to shoot uh, because so much heat was into the migrating into the trigger by this point. Um, but we never saw slide uh, velocity getting slow because these the you know steel expands and more radically than you would imagine. And just to give you a reference point, I have frequently locked up a FN Browning high power, various different ones. Uh, when we've done this same 200 round test, and it's happened traditionally somewhere between 150 and 200 rounds, or if we get to 200 rounds, we start to see that slide cycle rate slowing. So in other words, the relationship between the slide and the frame is getting tighter. At 200 rounds, this relationship of this slide and frame were not getting tighter. That tells me one important thing, and that is these slides and frames are being made particularly tolerance to have a lot of margin uh, where this subject is concerned. What that does is it allows you to Cerakote things um, and not run into a bunch of problems of cycling, which can happen um, if you are a tight tolerance to frame and slide. It also tells me that the frame and slide fit uh, themselves are not over helping the accuracy subject with this pistol. Um, you, you have a slide to frame fit that's a contributor to accuracy more possible 
um, when you do have a slide and frame fit that is not quite, you know, this, I don't want to say loose, but um, <clears throat> it, that would be an, an applicable term um, here on, on this subject. But, okay, it is what it is, and, and you, absolutely no negative judgment about Gersan for how their slides to frames fit, you know, and, and, and do not say, you know, market BH that all they're loose. And, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, feel me on this one. This is not that simple. <laughs> so, um, but it is just an observation. Okay. There's a multitude of things in the high power pistol that contribute to accuracy. And is it shooting to point of aim in the sights and the stability of the, 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 the barrel in the slide, the fit of the, the, the barrel, uh, lugs to the, to the slide recesses, um, the strength of the recoil spring, um, uh, all, there's there's a list of things that contribute to this this kind of thing, um, but it it doing 200 rounds like that it tells us a multitude of good things. Um, it also tells us that this slide to frame fit is not going to be a a a great help to us in the area of long range accuracy. So in other words, it's got to come from somewhere else because um, it is not going to be it's not going to be happening there there's there's upsides there's downsides to what i'm what i'm explaining i'm not saying that you know that that uh, you know fn's tolerances were this and that you know somebody else's uh, tolerances are that this involves shooting handguns at a level at a quantity and a we call it an extreme stress test um that is completely abnormal and uncommon you know for for a typical situation that anybody is going to be running into most likely with anybody's high power regardless of who it was made by this part is again just an observation <clears throat> we did the 200 rounds of testing so that by this time yes this pistol and i we, we do know each other and yes i do know where this pistol is shooting at 16 yards and it and it's um and it's not at point of aim it is uh it is there left so since the 200 round endurance test or stress test didn't really yield anything that that would be contributory to to um, to accuracy needing to be improved, um, I decided to change nothing about the pistol and drop in a BH advanced um, barrel for high power pistols. And let me tell you about how I shot this particular chart. These were purposefully aimed shots from 16 yards, and the the uh, the aim point was here. This one is all on me. I dropped the barrel and knew it as soon as the hammer went home. You know how it's happened to you. It happened to me. Um, and that one there is a very similar thing. I got to upping the pace a little bit, and and um, you know the 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 OEM factory trigger is um, is not what I'm acclimated to anymore. My reflexes like so much anymore as much as the BH advanced trigger for uh, sub assembly for high power pistols. And th this, these couple here are on me. These I was purposely, you know, after these shots landed, I was purposely going for, okay, so if I shoot up here, does it hit there? If I shoot up here, does it hit there? So this is mark playing up here. And, and I do start to do that after I've established, you know, okay, I think it's aiming here. Then I'll start aiming, you know, somewhere else and see, you know, is that splatter following my aim? And, and if it is, you know, then, okay, we, we start to see trends. <laughs> and so anyway, this wound up with, with, I would consider a cluster right here in this area, uh, before the cluster was really right here happening when I was aiming to here. So we've seen this many, many times. Um, this is not a negative reflection on anybody else's barrel. This is, we know a strong positive reflection on the BH advanced barrel because of what it is and um, and specifically how it is designed and how it is executed when it is when it is manufactured okay a couple days later and this is going to be an interesting thing we'll see how many BH veterans are paying attention to this we have a new product coming it's the um, a threaded suppressor ready barrel for your Gersan MCP 35 PI or your FM detective or FM 95 detective uh, models. And it's the first time we ever know of anybody making a suppressor ready barrel, but it is the BH advanced barrel for those models in a threaded uh, suppressor ready version. And this chart comes from a part of that testing because what we were actually testing here was actually multiple things as usual, but 
it was a Gersan MCP 35 PI new out of the box. Nothing changed. And I shot a few rounds and actually there's one on this chart that's like somewhere down here. And I shot a few rounds out of it at 16 yards again. And I developed this area that, uh, that I was shooting into. And then, um, I dropped in the BH advanced, the, um, FM Detective or Gersan MCP 35 PI threaded barrel and I placed those three shots and again the point of aim was right here so that was and and this would be especially out of a shorter barrel compact or an FM Detective um, you know just dropped into that handgun you know that is that is a is a good reflection on the BH advanced barrel I think there anyway so uh, and if you have uh, seen this uh, video footage within uh, a day or two of it being uh, released and you happen to have one of those models and you'd be interested in a threaded or suppressor ready barrel, bhspringsolutions.com or reach out to us at 1-877-423-BHSS. That's 2477. Folks, I'm Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions, LLC, bhspringsolutions.com for High Power University. Thank you for watching.